Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we are playing some Rule of Rose. So after all of those feels that just happened, let's go onwards to the end of the game. Because of course the end of the game would happen after that. Stray Dog and the Lying Princess. Uh-oh. I wonder who Stray Dog is. We know who the Lying Princess is. That's Wendy. But who's Stray Dog, pray tell? I mean, I know. But do you know? Hopefully I'm still not injured. That would be bad. Hi, Gregory! Hi, Gregory! Hi, hi. If you, if you hadn't realized yet, Gregory is Stray Dog. And Wendy <sighs> went crying to him. And really bad things happen. Oh, hey, look, a book. Can I read the book now? So yeah, our puppy's dead. Oh, good, I'm healthy now. Suddenly healthy. Jennifer found stray dog. Stray dog and the lying princess. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who told lies. She liked to scare the other girls by screaming, Stray dog is coming! Stray dog is coming! But soon, everyone stopped being scared. They hated the way that she lied. One day, the girl came home screaming, Stray dog is coming! Really? Everyone thought it was just another lie. Except this time, it was no lie at all. And so they were all gobbled up. The end. This game got dark quick! <laughs> so yeah. End of the game, folks! There's two endings to this game. I'm gonna get the, what's supposed to be quote-unquote, the good ending. But... I'll, I'll talk about the endings when we get to there. It's a little, um... Interesting, the two endings and the differences between them and how you get them. Oh, Hi. Really? Really? How oh, Ch Chill? Is it just me or children the worst? Hi. <laughs> Are they so they're curtsying to me now, you know, after treating me like <laughs> hell. They're curtsying to me. Great. Hi, Olivia. She is never not crying. And she still bows to me. Yeah, that's right, you bow to me. Hi! Jennifer, Jennifer, over here. Didn't, didn't my childhood self just tell you? I ain't playing your games no more. I ain't playing your games no more, Amanda. You know, if Amanda hadn't gotten me in so much trouble, and if Wendy wasn't such a jealous... Okay. If she wasn't such a jealous bitch, then maybe all of the bad things that are about to happen, and have happened, would not happen. But you guys will see that in a couple minutes, won't you? Hi! Who let you play with fire? I have to talk to you, don't I? Yeah, don't you start curtsying to me. I am still angry at you. Yes, even though you... T well, they might have had something to do with what happened to Brown. I'm pretty sure they all did. Ooh, Lollipop. Definitely going to need that! Hi! Hi! How you three doing? You creepers who killed my dog? Greetings. Princess, please forgive all that I've done. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. Yeah, they want to make me princess now. Thank you very much for coming to our new aristocrat club. 
Greetings, Princess Jennifer. From now on, you'll be our new princess. Now, princess, please think up a new game. Please lead us. We are yours to command, princess. I really don't want to command you. Princess, go ahead. Guide us. We need you. We don't know what to do. <laughs> There's literally nothing I can do. Look, it's windy. It's windy. What? <laughs> See, girls, going to run after Wendy, that was your first mistake. You'll see the second one soon enough. I'm equipping this for a reason. You guys ready for some more feels? Right here? Right here. I really shouldn't have punched myself in the chest like that, but I did it anyway. Okay. Once we cross this threshold... Which way am I going? This way, I think. That's not a good- no, this way. It's this way, never mind. This got really dark! <laughs> Those screams will not stop until you go to this area. Which is the worst part. Um, yeah, everybody died. They didn't show it on screen, but, yeah. Hi, Joshua, slash Wendy. Yeah, Gregory, the guy who was taking care of us, that's Stray Dog. Once upon a time, that was a precious... I can't remember how to beat this guy. By the way, I can't remember. God damn it, Joshua! God damn it, Joshua! Slash Wendy. Yeah! No! Punch you in the butt! I'll poke you in the butt! I'll poke you in the butt! I'll poke you in the butt! Poke you in the butt! I'm gonna poke you in the butt some more. D don't you do that. I've got no health items. That's not very nice. No, I've got a lollipop. Never mind. I've got a lollipop. Okay, yep. Final fight. Kind of. There's, there is a second fight. This is the first stage of it, but don't you... Okay, no more big attacks. Just a couple small attacks and then we run. Because this guy packs a punch from what I remember. Ow. That hurts. That was mean. You stop that, Gregory. You stop that. Meanie poo. Hit. Run. Hit. Run. Hit. This is the weirdest final fight ever. Then again, it oh, come on. You did not hit me. Brown! It's Brown, bitch! Brown's here to save the day! Even though we totally saw him get killed. I'm gonna murder your face. I'm gonna murder the shit out of you. Okay, don't hit him that many times. Good, good to know. So yeah, Brown's alive, except he's really not, but... This is all in our head if you haven't. Kind of in our head. Depending on, depending on how you interpret the game. Well, Brown died already! Lightweight dog. Oh my god! Holy shit! That does not look right! No, you get off of me! 
You get off of me. Oh, dear. Um, lollipop. Oh, la 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 pa. ba dum bum bum Can I get the dog up? Oh, well then. Get up, Brown. Don't hurt me. Run, 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 run. Don't you hurt my dog. Oh, what? So, the hit detection in this game, I swear. It's weird. Okay. Gotta kill Gregory. Oh, oh, you not hitting me. You not hitting me. Oh, never mind. God damn it, Joshua. God damn it, Joshua. Brown, get up. Brown? 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 Gotta figure out some way to make this happier. So I'm just gonna say Brown's name weirdly. Brown. Brown. Yeah, you see those piles of clothes? That's Jennifer's mind protecting her from the fact that this place is covered in dead bodies right now. So you see their clothes. All arranged all nicely. Because you wouldn't love me. I this is silly, this isn't voice acting. Because you are so stubborn, I brought you here. Hi, Wendy! Because you fell in love with Brown. Because you didn't realize it was me. I brought Stray Dog here. The entire time, it's always been Wendy. But I, I... It's the gun! The gun from the gingerbread house. Please, stop him with this. Only you and your beloved dog can stop him. Except we can't. I'm sorry. Except we really can't stop him. That's the whole thing. Here's where we make the decision. We got Gregory's gun. Gregory's gun. This is where we get to make the decision of the endings. I'm sorry, Joshua. This. Okay. You see how you see how he held out his arms for us? We don't equip the gun. We give him the gun. That's how you get the good ending. You give him the gun instead of using it on him. I'm sorry, Joshua. Because he recognized me as the kid he took care of. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. You get the bad ending if you straight up kill him. Because it's implied that that's not what actually happened in her past. Or something. And then they run off into the sunset, literally. <gasps> Fade to white. Now, if you just... The difference between the endings is there is an entire chapter after this. If you get the good ending. If you just do the bad ending, that's where it ends. They turn around, they walk off into the sunset. Except Brown is still dead, and she's still hallucinating him, and... This game is weird. It's weird! Half of the things that happened you are, are implied, and there's so many theories about what just happened in, like, the entire game. Because the dates don't match up, and now it's January. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. This entire chapter is in sepia tones, too. You don't get this chapter at all if you don't, um, give Gregory the gun. If you don't- if you kill him instead of giving him the gun. Yeah. Yep. And now we're playing as young Jennifer! Once upon a... 
Once upon a time. Come on. This one ha oh no, it doesn't have words, does it? Okay, right. Okay, this one doesn't have words. Just look at the pictures. You, you won't be able to see them too well, but you see, chair. Girl gets in another chair. They put the chairs together and they hold hands because they lerve. And then the other one ties the one up, and then it ties the other one up so they're tied together. And then the other ones sees a puppy. And they're like, oh, puppy! And so they go after the puppy. So they leave with the puppy. And then the other one's all alone. Oh, Okay! Sure. Question mark, question mark. This letter looks familiar. Yes, it's one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. See, here's where you get some more explanation of what the fuck just happened. My dear Jennifer, there is nothing to fear. I am always by your side. I would never betray you. We made an oath, remember? From Wendy to Jennifer. My dear Jennifer, I'm so relieved that you are well again. Is that why you couldn't? I couldn't find you yesterday morning? It's no use trying to fool me. I can see right through your pranks. <laughs> anyway, thanks in advance. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you for introducing me to Brown, but such a filthy dog is not is not a good match for you and me. Just give it to Nicholas or something, and let's be content with just the two of us. My stubborn Jennifer! Is Brown that important to you? It's just a dog, a filthy animal. Please stop sharing your wonderful smile with that thing. Please only smile at please smile only at me. Jennifer the Heartless, why didn't you come? I waited and waited for you. Why can't I see you every morning? I think only of you. Why are you avoiding me? Wendy, you're always so lonely. Poor, lonely Wendy. So we're not the lonely girl. She was. I wonder if my letters ever reached her. Probably not. <laughs> the This is the detested rubbish bin. No one ever suspected something was precious was sitting inside it. Nor did they know that I was the only place where I could keep my things safe. Not really want to stock an item right now. <laughs> yeah. This entire chapter is just running around and you can talk to people, um, get like inklings of what happened in the story and everything. Like what actually happened. Um, but I can kind of explain it. Explain what you kind of got inferred, because, yeah. As I'm running around and seeing people. So, what happened was, Jennifer and her parents, it, it, it's implied, Jennifer and her parents were on an airship ride, one of the first airship rides. The airship crashed and killed her parents. She was the, either one of the few survivors or one of the only survivors, but she was lost in the woods after the crash. Gregory found her and took her in, but because of her looks, mistook her for, it's implied, his dead son. No. Took Gregory took her in, thinking that she was his dead son, because he's a little cuckoo, if that wasn't obvious. And then, Jennifer, who really wanted to get out, who wanted to escape the place, because Gregory pretty much didn't let her leave the house, and she wanted to, you know, go and live her life. So Wendy comes across the house and comes across her in the basement room. They become friends and exchange letters. Wendy helps her get out and takes Gregory's gun so Gregory can't commit suicide because he's obviously suicidal. Then everything plays out at the orphanage. Bad things happen. Good things happen. Shenanigans that you saw in the first few chapters happen. The stuffed goat. The white goat Mary. The black goat Sally. When Meg found her letter to Diana torn apart, ah, remember that? She was deeply wounded and cried in Diana's arms, even though she was the one who ripped it up. And when Meg's notebook was found all scattered about, Diana made fun of her, saying, Mary and Sally must have ate it. Poor Meg. She was bound by the shackles of foolish devotion. And Meg was in love with Diana, obviously. But, later on, first it was just, you know, Jennifer and... Um, 
all the other characters doing the whole aristocrat thing, bring a bring a present, blah blah blah. Jennifer had to work up the ranks, blah blah blah. Even though she was secretly the prince in a way, because she was Joshua. And then she found a puppy. Yes, Brown was a puppy. Brown was not a fully grown dog. Brown was a puppy. They found a puppy. And Jennifer named him Brown and took care of him in the shed. He was an old, or just little, dirty little puppy. He was a puppy. He was cute. Because he's a puppy and all puppies are cute. And Mary. Not Mary. Yeah, Wendy. Ugh. Wendy got angry that Jennifer was suddenly paying attention to the dog instead of her. Now, Jennifer was still treated, like, seeing her friend, giving her letters, doing all of these things for her. Jennifer. Shut up. I'm trying to talk. Jennifer. Shut up! Um, so, she got angry, and she got jealous. <laughs> and as the princess of this little aristocrat Lord of the Flies club thing that they had going on, <laughs> she got Brown captured and killed. After Amanda stole the doll, stole the Joshua doll, and pretty much wrecked it. And then put the blame on Jennifer. So, she got angry, took Brown, all of the kids beat Brown to death. If you remember the beginning of the game when you first arrive at the orphanage and you go up to the, um... Go up to the orphanage and you see the two kids beating on the bag? They're beating on a brown. They're beating on a puppy. Yeah. This game's fucked up, by the way. And Jennifer freaks the fuck out like she obviously should, as you saw in that cutscene last episode. And... So... Wendy... Wendy, all sad and everything, runs off. And this entire time, she's been filling the kids' stories of stray dog, and oh, stray dog's gonna get you, stray dog likes sweets, so you should give him sweets, and da 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 The entire time, she'd been masquerading as Joshua for Gregory. So she runs to Gregory as Joshua, and pretty much, like, dressed up in the wig and stuff, and goes, Oh no, all these bad things are happening! Oh no, bad, 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 bad! Bad stuff and bad! They were treating me bad, and they're just jerks, and, and they hit me, and da da So Gregory comes to the orphanage, and now completely crazy under the influence of Wendy, and massacres the entire building. It's implied that the only survivor was Jennifer, possibly because she hid. Yeah. And because she hid, she survived. But everyone is implied to have been killed, including Wendy. By the insane Gregory. And then at the end of it, Gregory either finds Jennifer and mistakes Jennifer for Joshua, because apparently they look identical, or just massacres all of these little girls and everyone else in the building, and finally goes... You know what? I done goofed and takes the gun that Wendy had taken to stop him from committing suicide and shoots himself with it. Yeah. Did I mention this game's fucked up? <laughs> just, just a little bit. Just a smidgen. So, by the end of it, the only survivor of the orphanage is implied to have been Jennifer. And there's all kinds of theories about this game being, like, her in her final moments before she dies from something else, she's coming to terms with it, or she's just coming to terms in general, or it's a Silent Hill thing, or she really died with everybody else, and this is all of her coming to terms with what happened, and blah 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 blah. But yeah. Please wait for me, I'll be there. So yeah. It, this entire story is about obsession and things going horribly, horribly, horribly wrong.
Oh, and kids going full Lord of the Flies in an orphanage. That happens too. So yeah, this is what Brown really looked like. It's just a little puppy. Mm, he's just a little poopy puppy. Hi, Brown. Hi, Brown. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait a minute. No, I don't have it, okay. <laughs> Can I equip the shawl? <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be the end part. Wasn't here. You pet the poopy puppy. Oh, right. We have to put our promise. And this is the promise that Jennifer made to Wendy was My dear friends, I never want to lose you again. I'll protect you forever and ever until the day I die. Everlasting true love, I am yours. That was the promise that Jennifer made to Wendy. And she's implied to have broken it when she found Brown, but Wendy was unable to understand, you know, and love Brown too, and Hi, Brown. Hi, Brown. He's so freaking cute! I can't even! Also, this game is gorgeous. And then he gives him his collar. <laughs> they know I want to call her! They know I want to call her. Yep. She put him- she tied him up so he couldn't get away, because if he can't get away, then he can't meet Wendy. <laughs> oh, it's okay, we'll come back for you, Brown. And then he doesn't die, because Wendy's a bitch. I'll protect you. Forever and ever, until I die. When, when I call your name, so please don't, don't set, set me free. free. I'm, I'm as heavy as can be. be. I, I will do you harm. I will break my heart. I'm, I'm a victim of your charms. I want to be dead. When I am Iron Man, I, I can't can be so mean, you can't beat me. me, I would like to shame you, I would like to blame you, just because of my love to you. Game is fucked up. And love itself is just as innocent as roses in May. I know nothing can drive it away. Love itself is just as brief as the candle in the wind. And it's greed Just like sin Alone But say I am a Love Suicide Itself is just as brief as a candle in the wind. It is pure white, just like sea. So, yeah, 
this game! This game, man! Mm-hmm! I, I freaking love it! Oh, Stray Dog will have his peas. That song is... We didn't get to hear the whole song, but it's essentially about how um, Gregory is implied to eat people. Yeah. How it it's implied that he kidnaps kids and then eats them. Like, they don't turn out to be as much like Joshua like he thought, so he eats them, or he was just a cannibal to begin with, or something. It it's just... This game is so weird! It doesn't make any sense unless you read between the lines and find everything, which I didn't find everything, but... That's what I'm here for, to lead you through the game. Let's say I am a love suicide Cause love itself is just as innocent as roses in May It is pure white just Ah, oh, that song! Okay. Anyway. That was Rule of Rose, guys. If you want it, good luck, because this game is expensive as hell now. It's, apparently it's pretty rare. My copy isn't even factory sealed, and it's apparently worth a couple hundred dollars. And it's a PlayStation 2 game. But if you can find it, play it. It's awesome. If you're in the UK, import it. It's awesome. And jailbreak your PlayStation. <laughs> oh, right. We finally get the four-leaf clover key. You remember that locked door? That's where all of the optional costumes are. I haven't unlocked all of them on this file, because you have to do a whole bunch of more exploring to unlock two of the costumes, I think. But we did unlock quite a few of them, like a fish costume, an octopus costume, weird costumes. But, yeah. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Rule of Rose. I'll see you all in the next episode and in the Never Let's Play.